My name is John Goodenough, or John Bannister Goodenough, if you like, because it was John Bannister who broke the four-minute mile. <laughs> First, know yourself. Don't just try to copy what other people do. Just find out whom you are and what your talents are and devote your talents. Develop them best you, as best you can to, there, there are a lot of problems out there to be solved. So just remember, everybody has a different talent. And you have to find what your talent is. There are people who do fund fundamental research, and uh, it's very, very important because, after all, it's out of the fundamentals that one really develops ideas for applications. And I think it's important for every scientist to be aware that he has a partner, and the partner is the person who supports him. And so one must remember that we owe a great deal to the people who fund us, okay? They don't deserve, receive a lot of the credit that they deserve. Just a little note at the bottom, thanking somebody is not as much. But we are dependent upon these people. And so I always, think of them and I try to write to them as partners in what we do. But I think the beautiful thing about science is that it's an international language and that therefore it automatically involves international cooperation and travel. You see, I've been very fortunate in my life. My wife was a teacher who had summer vacations off and we travel all over the world visiting scientists everywhere in the world. It's an international language and I think the scientists have done or should be involved in building understanding. I believe in building relationships and not walls. I think the building of walls is a stupid idea. <laughs>